جلالی وجی کا وعظیم سلطانی یا ربی سلی و سلی دائی من عبدن علی حبیبی کا خیر الحل کی کل ہی اما بعد میرے محترم دوستو یہ امت آخری امت ہے But your friends and brothers, this ummah is the last ummah. Our Nabi, Akhri Nabi or Rasul the. Our Nabi, Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, was the last prophet. Ab na koi Nabi or Rasul aayega. No Nabi or Rasul will come. Or na hi koi nayi ummah aayegi. And no new ummah will come. Ummah kehte hain mardon, aurton aur bache ke majmuye ko. Ummah is the name of collection of male, female, and children. امت کہتے ہیں مرد عورت اور بچے کے مجموعے کو امت is called collective unit of men, women and children اور جو اس کو نہ سمجھے and those who don't understand اور وہ سمجھے کہ امت صرف مردوں کو کہا جاتا ہے and if they only understand that men are only the امت وہ دین کو نقصان پہنچا رہا ہے they are hurting دین میرے محضرم دوستو ہمارا یہ دین جو حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے ذریعے سے دنیا میں آیا اس دین کی بنیادوں میں ہم دیکھتے ہیں دین ابراہیمی ہے The دین that has been brought by رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم we find that the foundation of this دین is in the دین of ابراہیم علیہ السلام یہاں تک کہ ہمیں نماز میں بھی درود ابراہیمی دیا گیا Even though in our salat also we have been given درود ابراہیمی یہاں تک کہ حضور اقدر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی زندگی کو ہم دیکھتے ہیں اور حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام کی زندگی کو دیکھتے ہیں تو بہت ساری چیزیں ملتی ہوئی دیکھتی ہیں When we look at the life of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and we look at the life of ابراہیم علیہ السلام we find too many things that are common between the two اللہ کے حسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی گھرے لو زندگی کو دیکھتے ہیں اور حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام کی گھرے لو زندگی کو دیکھتے ہیں تو بھی ملتی جلتی ہے And when we look at the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his house and the life of Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam in his house we also find comparisons between the two Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam ki zindagi mein bhi ghar walon ki badi nusrat rahi hai in the lifetime in the life of style of Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam also there was help and nusrat from his family member Huzur Akdar sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ki zindagi ko dekhte hain to unki ghar walon ki zindagi کو دیکھتے ہیں تو ان کی بھی بڑی نصرت دیکھتی ہے and when we look at the lifestyle of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم in his house and in his wife we also find there was so much نصرت from his wife toward his family حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام کو حکوم ہوتا ہے ابراہیم علیہ السلام was ordered کہ اپنے گھر والوں کو لے جا کر ایسی جگہ چھوڑو جہاں خاص بھی نہ اٹھتی ہو take your household and leave your family at a place where even grass doesn't grow اور حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام لے کر جاتے ہیں اور ابراہیم علیہ السلام اپنے بچوں کو اپنے بچوں کو اپنے بچوں کو اور چھوڑ کے جب واپس آ رہے ہوتے ہیں جب وہ انہوں کو لے کر جاتے ہیں تو اس وقت حضرت ابراہیم علیہ السلام کے گھر والوں نے پوچھا ہمیں کہاں چھوڑ کر جا رہے ہیں 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 On whose support are you leaving us here? Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam khamosh hai. Ibrahim alayhi salam is silent and quiet. Bar bar poochha jaya hai. And he has been asked again and over again. Yaan tak ki hat Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam ke ghar walo ne khud kaha kya hi Allah ka hukum hai? She kept on asking until she asked what is this an order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam ne apne sar ko hila ko kaha kya hi Allah ka hukum hai? Ibrahim alayhi salam nodded his head and he said saying that it is the order of Allah. He said then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough for us and he is the best helper. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated this in the same words in Quran and Kareem as well. Now look at the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa sallam is worshipping in the cave. And Jibreel alayhi salam descended there. And he said Jibreel alayhi salam is worshipping in the cave. And Jibreel alayhi salam descended there. And he brings the revelation ayat in the Quran. 
اور اس وقت حجبیل علیہ السلاۃ والسلام نے اللہ کے رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کو اپنے گلے سے لگایا and at that time jibril alayhi salam embraced rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam aur kai martaba lagaya and not only once he embraced him many times aur gale ke lagane mein quwwat ka izhar kiya and he embraced him with force allah ke rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam ghar se niche utar gaye now rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is coming down from the cave aur jibril alayhi salam ki pehli mulaqat thi this was the first visitation of jibril alayhi salam with him tabiyat par asar tha and he was very much affected by this visitation aur bukhar jaisi kaifiyat thi and he had a condition as if he has fever aur thandak lag rahi thi and he was feeling cold as well ghar tashreef laate hain he came back at his home aur allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne farmaya zammilu ni zammilu ni ki mujhe chadar odao kambal odao and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying cover me up cover me up with blanket allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke ghar walon ne sabse pehle saath diya So the first one to give support to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was his wife. Aur chadar se dhaak diya. And covered him up with a sheet. Jab Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko thoda ifaqa hua. When he got better little bit later on. To Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne us waqe ko bayan kiya jo ghar mein pesh aaya tha. Then he told the story what happened in cave to her. To Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke ghar walon ne us waqe ko sunkar jo tasalli ke alfaaz kahe wo sunne layak hai. So after listening to the story of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the words of support that she gave to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is something worth listening ke aap bahut nek hain said that you're very noble aap bahut acche hain and you're very good aisa to bilkul nahi hoga ki Allah aapko zaya kar de it will never ever happen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to waste you away aur bade saath dene wale alfaaz kahe these words were full of support ki hamare khandan ke ek bade hain samajhdar hain and then there's a wise person in our family ki hum unke paas jayenge is an our elder and we will go to him aur unse is waqe ko bayan karenge and we will tell him what has happened aur unse rae lenge and we will take his opinion aur fir le kar bhi gayi and then she took him alayhi salatu wassalam to him dekhi hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam ki zindagi mein ki jo sabse kareeb the wo unke ghar wale the so we see in the life of ibrahim alayhi salam who was closest to him was his household और सबसे ज्यादा वो साथ देने वाले थे and he, they were the ones she was the one who supported him the most ki saath ke dene mein bilkul shikwa bhi nahi tha shikayat bhi nahi thi and because what she was supporting she did not complain ki kaise chhod ke ja rahe hain how you are leaving us over here kahan chhod ke ja rahe hain where are you leaving me hame kaun puchhega who is going to take care of us aise koi bhi alfaaz nahi there are no such words found keh rahe hain ki allah mein kaafi hai and she saying that allah is going to be enough for us allah will support us dekhi allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki zindagi mein now we look in the life of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sabse pehle ab jibril alaihi salatu wassalam ke aane ko allah ke rasool ne ghar walon ko bayan kiya first person to that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told about the coming of jibril alaihi salam was his household aur wahi ke utarne aur aane ko allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne sabse pehle apne ghar walon ko bayan kiya and the revelation that came upon him the first person to be told was his household aur allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke ghar walon ke alfaaz dekhe and look at the words of the uh, you know household of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke surat wale aur saath dene wale and these were words that are full of support and you know assistance aur kaisi himmat wale alfaaz and word full of courage kaisa taawun aur kaisi madad how much cooperation and how much help was offered hazrat ibrahim alaihi salatu wassalam ko hukm hua Ibrahim alayhi salam was ordered ki aap wadi e ghar ki zara mein apne biwi aur bacche ko chhod kar aaye the then leave your wife and your child in this desert land ab wapas jao now you go back aur ja ke apne bacche ko wahan se lo and take your child from there aur use zabah kar de and then you slaughter him ab ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam ja rahe hain now ibrahim alayhi salam is on his way aur ja kar hazrat ismail alayhi salatu wassalam ko le rahe hain and he is now taking Ismail alayhi salam to go with him aur aage ja rahe hain and he's going forward shaitan aa raha hai shaitan is coming behka raha hai and now he's deceiving him hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam ke ghar wale ko behkaya and he was also deceiving the household of ibrahim alayhi salam ki bete ko daba karne le ja raha hai that he's taking your child to slaughter him hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam ke ghar walon ne rad kar diya us and the household of ibrahim alayhi salam did not accept this 
शैतान और आगे बढ़ता है शैतान गोज फर्दर इस्माइल इस्लाम छोटे से है इस्माइल इस्लाम इज स्मॉल एट दैट टाइम उनको बहकाने की कोशिश ट्राइंग टू डिसीव इन और मेरे मोहतम दोस्तों वहाँ भी रद्द कर दिया एंड देन ही वाज रिजेक्टेड ओवर देयर एज वेल और हजरत इस्माइल अलैहिस्सलाम इस्लाम के बचपन के अल्फाज सुनिए एंड लुक एट द वर्ड्स ऑफ द यंग इस्माइल अलैहिस्सलाम एट दैट टाइम उसे समझ में आएगा कि उस वादी गिर दी जरा में एक मां ने अपने बच्चे के साथ कैसा मामला किया सो वी विल फाइंड फ्रॉम दैट दैट हाउ अ मदर इन दैट लैंड ऑफ बैरन लैंड एंड डेजर्ट हाउ शी ट्रेन हिज हर चाइल्ड इससे तरबियत समझ में आएगी एंड वी अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस हाउ पीपल आर ट्रेंड हजरत इस्माइल अलैहि सलाम कह रहे हैं आप मुझे ले जा रहे हैं इब्राहिम अलैहि इस्माइल अलैहि सलाम इज सेइंग दैट यू आर टेकिंग मी और आप मुझे ذبح करेंगे एंड यू विल स्लॉटर मी कहीं ऐसा ना हो कि मेरी निगाह और आपकी निगाह ذبح करते वक्त टकरा जाए इट मे नॉट हैपन दैट माय गेज एंड योर गेज क्लैश ईच अदर और आपके दिल में मेरी मोहब्बत गालिब हो जाए एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस Your love for me overpowers you. Or Allah ke hukum ko aap pura na kar sakte. And you may not be able to fulfill the order of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Isliye apne aapon par parda dal dijiye. So please put a veil, blindfold yourself. Or Hazrat Ibrahim al Islam ne aisa kiya. And Ibrahim al Islam did blindfold himself. Ab Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki zindagi ko dekh. Now look at the life of Rasoolullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Talib gave it Ali radiallahu anhu to him. छोटे से हैं. Hey, I mean, Ali is small at that time. और उस वक्त जब हजरत नबी पाक सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम अपने घर वालों से इसके साथ नमाज पढ़ रहे हैं, तो एकदम बचपन की और छोटे पन की हालत में हजरत अली रजियल्लाह अनु ने अल्लाह के रसूल को नमाज पढ़ते देखा. And Ali radiallahu taala anhu at this age saw Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his household. making worship your brother to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making salat to namaz padhte dekha to taajjub kiya and he was surprised ali radhiyallahu anhu aur kehne lage ye aap log kya kar rahe hain what are you two doing maine to aisa pehle kabhi ghar mein nahi dekha i have never seen this in my house so allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne apne nabi hone ko bataya then rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told him about his being a prophet aur is namaz ko allah ki ibadat bataya and this salat that he was making saying this is a worship to our lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aur uske baad kaha hai ali isko qubool kar lo and then he offered him and asked him that he should accept it at ali radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu ne farmaya ki main walid sahab se pooch kar qubool karunga ali radhiyallahu anhu said i will ask my father and then i'll accept it allah ke rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne farmaya ae ali aisa bilkul na karna So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Oh Ali, don't ever do that." Isko kubul karo ya mat karo. Accept it or do not accept it. Magar isko kisi ko batana nahi. But nee. this story you don't have to tell anybody. Mere mohtam dosto is din ki khasiyat hai. That is a characteristic of our din. Razdari. To keep a secret, a secret. Ki agar bade koi baat ko mana kar de ki kisi ko na batana to kabi kisi ko na. When an elder tells you that this is something which is a secret, do not tell anybody. Then never tell anybody. Hazrat Ali Razi Allah no, jab Islam aur Iman ke kareeb ho rahe the, to sabse pehli nasihat jo hadith mein maujood hai, woh ye hai. So when Ali Razi Allah no was getting closer to Islam, the first advice that he was getting from the elder was this advice of keeping a secret, a secret. Hazrat Anas Razi Allah no, Taala no, Allah ke Rasool Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ne ek kam se beja. Anas Razi Allah no was sent by Rasool Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to do some job. Kam karke wapas aaye. He did the work and then he came back. Unki walda mil gayi. And she, he met the, her, his mother. Or kehne lagi ki kahan gaye the? And said, Where did you go? Allah ke Rasool ke kam se gaya tha. Said I went to do something for Rasool Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ye batao kis kam se gaye the? So she asked, What was that work? Hatani Anas Razi Allah no farmaye, Bilkul nahi bataunga. So Anas Razi Allah said, I will never ever tell you. Ki Allah ke Rasool ka raaz hai. Because it's a secret of my Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Maa, Maa kehne lagi, Bete aise hi rehna. The mother said. Do keep on doing like this. कभी राज ना बताना. Never ever open a secret. ये मोहतम दोस्तों दीन का खासता है. This is the characteristic of 
अपने बड़ों का अपने बुजुर्गों का कोई बात हमारे इल्म में हो कोई राज हो कोई काम ऐसा कराया हो जो किसी को नहीं बताना है तो कभी किसी को नहीं बताना and then this is a secret we never ever tell this to other people atali razi allah taala no thodi der ke baad wapas aaye adrani razi allah no came back after a little while aur iman ko bul kar liya and he accepted iman mere mohtaram dosto dekhe allah ke husn sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki zindagi mein ek aurat hai aur ek bachcha hai so when we look at the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there is a lady and there is a child ad ibrahim alaihi salatu wassalam ki zindagi mein bhi aisa hi hai The same thing we see in the life of Ibrahim Ali Salam. Adali Razilano, थोड़े बड़े हो रहे हैं. Adali Razilano is growing up now a little bit. और हिजरत का हुकुम आ गया. And the order of hijrat has come. Allah के रसूल सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने उम्मीद के साथ सबको इजाजत दी. So Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم openly told everybody to migrate. और सब जाने भी लगे. And everybody started to migrate. अक्सर चले गए. Most of them may left. एक रात आई. One night came upon them. Allah ke Rasool ko hukum hua is raat mein safar karna hai. And the order to Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم came that this night you have to travel. Aur usi raat se pehle sare kuffar jama hue. And just the night before that, all the kuffar they got together. Kahi is masle ko khatam karna hai. And we need to finish this problem that we have among us. Aur masle ko is tarike se khatam karna hai ki sari talwaren ek saath Allah ke Rasool ke bistar pe gire. The way we have to finish this problem is that all our swords, all of our swords should fall upon that bed. instantaneously at one time taaki ilzam kisi pe bhi na aaye aur sab par aa jaye so nobody will be accused as to who killed him and it will be upon everybody ya talwar chalane ke mashware ho rahe hain so over there they are making mashwara about how to kill ya hijrat ka hukum ho raha hai and here there is an order to migrate allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne hatari radhiyallahu anhu ko bulaya ali rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala ali radhiyallahu anhu aur kaha dekho ye mera bistar hai and said look you know this is my bed इस पर तुम्हें सोना है। And you have to sleep on this. ताकि घर के बाहर से दुश्मन देखे। So that the people outside can see. तो उसे लगे कि अल्लाह के रसूल आराम फरमा रहे हैं। He can see that it is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is resting. और फिर फरमाया कि देखो ये मानते हैं। And then he showed him this. Uh, the, the, he said this is you know all these are the trust that has to be returned. ये अमानतें सुबह में जिनकी है उनको देकर मदीने आके हमसे मिलना सो यू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दिस ट्रस्ट टू द पीपल हुम वी ओ एंड देन यू कम एंड मीट मी इन मदीना अदली रजी अल्लाह अनु की तैयारी को देखें लुक एट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अली रजी अल्लाह अनु ही फौरन बिस्तर पे गए ही वेंट राइट अवे टू दैट बेड और बिस्तर पर पहुंचकर आराम किया पूरी रात एंड देन द होल नाइट ही रेस्टेड एंड स्लेप्ट ऑन द बेड इब्राहिम अलैहि सलातु सलाम की जिंदगी में एक चोरी चल रही थी इब्राहिम अलैहि सलाम इन हिज इन हिज लाइफ There was one knife that was going to go. Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki zindagi mein aane ke baad wo churi hat kai talwaron mein badal gayi. But in the lifestyle of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his time that that knife turned into hundreds of swords. But Ismail alaihi salatu wassalam zaba hone ke liye taiyar. Ismail alaihi salam is ready to be slaughtered. Hazrat Ali radhiyallahu anhu qurban hone ke liye taiyar. And Ali radhiyallahu anhu is ready to be sacrificed. Wo nabiyon ke ghar ke bachche the ye bhi nabi ke ghar ke bachche the. He, he was the son of the prophet and he is also the son of the prophet. Dekhiye Allah ke rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ka kaisa saath diya Allah ke rasool ke ghar walon ne. So how the people of his house they supported Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah ke rasool ke ghar ke bachcho ne kaisa saath diya. And the children of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how they supported him. Jo ye samajhta hai ये उम्मत सिर्फ मर्दों के को कहा जाता है वो दीन को नुकसान पहुंचा है द वन हु अंडरस्टैंड्स द उम्मत इज ओनली मेन फोक्स ही इज हर्टिंग द दीन ऑफ द उम्मत ये उम्मत मर्द और औरतों और बच्चों के मजमूए का नाम है द कलेक्शन ऑफ मेन एंड वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन दिस इज कॉल्ड उम्मत इस उम्मत के अंदर मर्दों को जितनी जिम्मेदारी दी गई उतनी जिम्मेदारी औरतों को भी दी गई इन आवर उम्मत The amount of responsibility that has been given to the men, same amount of responsibility has been given to the women as well. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Quran me 22 me pare me farma rahe. The 22nd juz of Quran Karim, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying, "To mardon ka bhi taskira kar rahe, aurton ka bhi taskira kar rahe." And He is mentioning Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is mentioning men, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is mentioning women as well. Ki Muslim man mard, Muslim man aurte. Muslim men, Muslim women. मोमिन मर्द मोमिन औरतें बिलीवर मेन एंड बिलीविंग वेमेन अल्लाह से डरने वाले मर्द अल्लाह से डरने वाली औरतें फियरिंग पीपल हु आर अफ्रेड ऑफ अल्लाह मेन एंड फियर पीपल हु आर फियरिंग अल्लाह वेमेन फरमाबरदार मर्द फरमाबरदार औरतें ओबीडिएंट मेन एंड ओबीडिएंट वेमेन 
Men giving charity, women giving charity. To save ourselves from lewdness, men and women. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, men and women remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised both these men and these women. And this is the greatest promise that is of forgiveness. That they will both be forgiven. And this is not only the, the only promise in the hereafter, there is a big promise that has been prepared for them. So this ummah is a name of a collection of men, women and children. As much as we are responsible for this deen, in the same manner, women are also responsible, equally responsible for the In the 22nd Jews, in the first page of Quran, there is an order of Allah. And the women are being ordered. And the, the verses of Allah that are being revealed into the houses. And the words of wisdom that are being uttered. Meaning whatever the Prophet of Allah is telling you. Keep remembering them. And there is a strange sentence after that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he deals with the fine point and he is aware of every single thing that you do. Allama Alusi Rahmatullah Alayhi, in this ayat in this explanation of this verse, he says there is an order of Allah in the explanation of this verse. The household of Prophet is being ordered. The ayahs that are being read in the houses of Quran and the ahadiths that are being read upon you. It is your responsibility that you convey this to the ummah. Sheikh Ibn Arabi has explained this in Ahkamul Quran and he writes and we understand from this verse that it's also the responsibility of the women of our ummah and it's also the responsibility of the men of this ummah whatever deen has been reached to them and the Quran, the amount of Quran that they have learned and all those things that Prophet has spoken to them now it's responsibility of both men and women that they convey this to the rest of the ummah Ma'riful Quran, Muhammad Shafi Sahib Rahmatullah has mentioned in the understanding of this verse that there are two meanings of this ayat and we need to follow on both of the understandings that we need to memorize Quran in our houses and we have to talk about the hadith in the houses as well. And then we should take full responsibility of conveying this to everybody else. Now he wants to say something which is even more than this. It's the time of Hajjatul Bida. It's a big Jama'ah of Sahaba Kiram. 
Rasulullah sallallahu is asking Have I conveyed the deen to you? This is not only that you have conveyed, you have fulfilled the right of conveying it. At this Rasulullah sallallahu made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a witness. And then he goes forward. Then now you need to convey this to those who are not present here. Is it this not so? Is it like this? No, my dear brothers. With Sahaba, the Sahabiyat were also present. In Hajjatul Vida, there was not only men. Ladies were there too. And this question was to both men and women. And both of them responded. And Prophet gave responsibility to both of them. Look at the lives of Sahabiyat. How many sacrifices they have done and can give in while conveying the message of this deen? Story of one Sahabiya which he had. One Sahabi came. He was still a kafir. The Sahabiya, her name was Umm Sulaim. And the person who came was Abu Talha. He's still not a Muslim. And he said, I want to marry you. I want to make nikah with you. So she put this talk of nikah on one side. And she started inviting him. He says, what kind of work do you do? You worship an idol that is made out of wood. <laughs> and then, you know, somebody made it by with his own hands. And it's made out of wood. He cannot do anything to you. He cannot deal with you properly. He himself is need. So I, I propose something to you. That you leave this idol of yours. And you accept Iman. And then I will marry you. And this will be my mother. Your acceptance of Iman will be my mother. So he thought Abu Talha. And he accepted Iman. And she did Nikah. This was the temperament, this was the mizaj of Sahabiyat, Lady Mimit. And Sahabiyat, they walked and they tread, they treaded the path of Dawah. In the time of the victory of Mecca, Umm Hakim, she entered into Islam. And their husband name was Akrama. And he just fled without Iman. That I will leave the whole territory where I am. I'll leave the family. I'll leave my wealth and property. But I will not accept Iman. He went towards Yemen. She's following him. And she's going forward and forward. And she reached almost to him. And she's making him understand. Giving dawah of Iman to him. And then she was bringing back Akrama. And, and then she presented him to Rasulullah until he accepts Iman. This was the temperament of Sahabiyat. Of Rasulullah is in a journey. And he is now thirsty. There is no water. So Rasulullah sent Ali radiallahu with some people. Go find water. They went further up. The desert there was nothing. They saw a lady coming up. 
और उसके पास पानी का भरा हुआ मशकीजा था एंड शी हैड टू सी सो वाटर इन द लेदर पाउच उससे पूछा पानी कहां से लाए तू शी सेड दे आस्क्ड हर व्हाट डिड यू ब्रिंग दिस वाटर फ्रॉम वो औरत कहने लगी कि 24 घंटे चलोगे यहां से तो तुम्हें पानी मिल जाएगा सो इफ यू वॉक 24 फोर आवर्स फ्रॉम हियर यू विल फाइंड वाटर मैं चौबीस घंटे की दूरी से पानी ला रही हूँ आई एम Coming for about 24 hours ago, and I brought this water. Pani ka shadid takada. So there is so much demand of water. Hadali Rasulullah unko le aaye. So he brought her. Allah ki Rasul ki khidmat mein peesh kiya. And presented her to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Was kafira thi usko. She wasn't a believer then. Allah ki Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne pani ka mashkiza khudwaya. So Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made her open that leather bag. Usme apne luhabe dehn ko dala. And then he put his spit into this water. और सहाबा को कहा पानी लेना शुरू करो एंड देन ही ऑर्डर फॉर सहाबा کرام स्टार्ट कम एंड टेक वाटर सहाबा सहराब हो गए सहाबा के टर्न ड्रिंकिंग वाटर नहाने वाले नहा भी लिए इवन दोस हु वांटेड शावर दे टुक शावर और सबके पास पानी हो गया एंड एवरीबॉडी हैड वाटर दे फिल देयर पाउचेस और वो मशकीदा भरा हुआ था एंड दैट 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 लेदर बैग स्टिल इज फुल ऑफ वाटर अल्लाह के रसूल सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने उसको बंद करके वापस दिया Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam closed that leather bag and gave it back to that lady. Al-Jazaa'ul Ihsan illa Ihsan ke Ihsan ka badla Ihsan hai. The reply to Ihsan how we return a favor with the favor. Jitna pani tha utna pura unko wapas kiya. Whatever water that she had brought that was returned to her. Sahaba se kaha ki aurat ko kuch hadiya dete hain. And then the told Sahaba Karam should give some hadiya to this lady. Hajur jama ki. They collected dates. Sattu jama kiya. And sattu This was flower. And gave as hadiyah to this lady. She was very much surprised. Iman ki roshni andar jagne lagi. So the light of iman started, you see, coming into her heart. Ab unke daawat ki mizaj ko dekhi. Look at the temperament of their daawat. Sabse pehle apni kaum mein gayi. She went first to her nation. Taakhir se gayi thi. She went, you know, after some time. Kaum sawal karti. So the kaum, the nation, they wanted to ask. सबसे पहला जुमला कहने लगी मुझे लगता है मैं जमीन और आसमान के सबसे बड़े जादूगर से मिलके आ रहा हूं शी सेड दैट आई लुक्स लाइक दैट आई हैव मेट द बिगेस्ट मैजिशियन अंडर द अर्थ अब अंडर द स्काई अबव द अर्थ कौन को तसल्ली होगी कि कोई बात नहीं सो द पीपल अंडरस्टूड देयर इज नथिंग सीरियस और डेंजरस इस औरत का मामला ठीक है शी इज ओके फिर थोड़ी देर बाद कहने लगी कैन शी सेड कि अगर वो जादूगर नहीं है तो अल्लाह के रसूल है इफ ही इज नॉट अ मैजिशियन आफ्टर सम टाइम शी सेड Then definitely is a prophet of Allah. Kaum ke andar bhi baat paida ho gayi. So the the nation also they had a feeling for what the words that she said. Ye daawat ka mizaj hai. This is the temperament of daawat. Ki aista aista apni baat ko kehna. Said we say whatever we have to say in terms of daawat slowly. Aur isko kareeb karna. And then to bring people closer to us. Aur uske baad dekha sahabe kiram ko. Then they saw the sahaba kiram. के आसपास के इलाके में सहाबा के हमले जारी हैं। एंड देन यू नो द इनको कुछ नहीं कह रहे हैं। इनके खानदान को भी कुछ नहीं कह रहे एंड नथिंग टू द फैमिली ऑल्सो और इनके कबीले को भी कुछ नहीं एंड नथिंग टू हिस्ट हर ट्राइब इज वेल तो सब इनके खानदान और कबीले ने ये सब देखा सो देशन सॉ द ट्राइब सॉ द फैमिली सॉ फिर उसके बाद अपने खानदान को कहने लगी देन शी सेड टू हर फैमिली ये तो नबी का ही काम है दिस इज ओनली अ नबी कैन डू दिस कि नबी ऐसा एहसान कर सकता है ओनली अ नबी कैन डू दिस फेवर हम से कुवत में ज्यादा हैं दे आर मोर पावरफुल एंड मोर इन नंबर इनका हम पर काबू भी है एंड दे कंट्रोल अस एज़ वेल हमारे जान और माल महफूज भी है एंड आवर प्रॉपर्टी एंड आवर लाइफ्स आर प्रोटेक्टेड अपनी दावत के जरिए से पूरे कबीले को ईमान में दाखिल करते हैं। एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दावत, द होल नेशन एंड ट्राइब इस्लाम। दावे आज के जिंदगी को देखेंगे तो कोई ऐसा खाना नहीं मिलेगा जिसमें सहाबा हो और सहाबियत ना हो सो वी लुक एट द लाइफ ऑफ सहाबियत यू विल नॉट फाइंड इन द चैप्टर ऑफ दावत that the mention of sahaba is there and mention of sahabiyat is not there allah ke rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne hijrat ke baad abu yub antari anz allah ke ghar par qiyam farmaya after hijrat rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he rested at the place house of abu yub antari radhiyallahu anhu allah ke rasul se kehne lage allah ke rasul upar chhad jaye and he told uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam i have a place upstairs why don't you stay there abu yub antari anz allah ne kaha ki mujhse milne wale bahut aayenge main niche thehta hu 
Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a lot of people aren't going to come and visit me, so I'll stay downstairs. You stay upstairs. So this is what happened. One day Abu Huyu and Sari of the Alano came down. He said, "Oh Prophet of Allah, we couldn't sleep all night." So what happened last night? There was a pail of water, bucket of water, and you know it tilted. And the water, of course, fell. So now we were thinking this water is going to sip through and come down, and you will be discomforted. So what we did, we took our bearings and we put on the water to absorb the water. So that the bed, the bedding should soak the water, and we spend the night without bedding. So no matter which you know effort of Dawud we see, along with Sahaba, we will find Sahabiya. So we should make this intention. The whatever intentions we are making in terms of khuruj and dawah and amal, we will do, and our wives and our household folk will also do. So when we go back to our houses and our localities, the way we do our local amal, we will also do the local amal with. Uh, with our families at our homes as well. We get, get together on our weekly Shabguzari nights. We, we come together once. This is our spiritual food. And this also there is something that was given you see in place of Shabguzari. They should also gather once a week. That they gather together in a room in a house and they should do ta'aleem. And they should do muzakara of six points. And they should do tashkil as well. This is not something decided today or now. This is all the talks that took place in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In one hadith says, it's the Sahabiyat, they came to the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Said these, uh, you know, he said, Yo, Ya Rasulullah, these men are always with you. And they kept on learning the with you. And they are always engaged in the amal of Dawud. So what about us? Then Rasulullah decided one, one day a week for ladies as well. And Rasulullah started giving, you see, to talk to the ladies once a week behind a curtain. So when you see the ladies will get together for weekly ta'aleem in a house, the, their amal, what to be done, will be decided by the masjid. Istiqbal will be decided. Who will do ta'aleem will be decided. One week ta'aleem will be from muntakhab. And another week that Ta'aleem will be from Fadail and Fadail Sadaqat. After reading from the book, there will be, you see, a, 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 a of six points. And all of this will be decided by the brothers in the masjid. And whichever sister is decided for Mudakara, there will be Tashkil after her Mudakara. The first Tashkil will be that they should send their men folk in the path of Allah. And the Fadail, the virtues of going out in the path of Allah should also be mentioned. And like Sahabiyat, they sent and their Sahaba, they sent in 
the when in the path of Allah, this should be also read and, and mentioned. Then there is second tashkil. And along with the men, their, their ladies should also go out in the path of Allah. Then they go, the ladies, they go with their men's hope in the path of Allah. Then there is a third tashkil. Then the amal of da'wat and amal of ibadat, they will be revived in our houses. And the halq of Quran shall take place in every house. And something very strange. People don't understand. Yeah, why should we read Quran in the house? How we should have the halq of Quran in the house? Why? What Sahabi was asked, how much Quran should be memorized? He said at least four surahs should be memorized along with Fatiha. This is the mudakra that we do. One sahabi, also another narration, and he took an account of something. So along with Surah Fatiha for the sake of Salat, at least seven other verse surahs should be memorized. And there are many other sayings of many other Sahaba Kiram. One verse was being revealed by Jibreel alayhi salam to Prophet And this is also in the 22nd Juz, the first page. And that ayat when it was revealed, so Prophet sallallahu left the house the time the Fajr enters. And he went to the door of Fatima radiallahu And then he announced the word as salah as salah Which means salah, salah, namaz, namaz And he started reading the words that was just revealed And then he went to the masjid Second day Then again he left his came at the door of Fatima again he announced Salat and read the verses that were revealed yesterday in these ayat what is being revealed is the amal of the house third day he did the same thing fourth day he did the same thing so much so that Prophet ﷺ did this mudakra of Quran for six months. The circles of Quran we have to do and revive in our houses. The mudakra of sifat has to be done in our houses. When we will use our tongue in describing the sifat, this sifat will enter into our hearts and they will be demonstrated through our amal. These ahadiths, they have to be read in the houses as well. Ta'aleem, wherever it is, you see, revived, in any house it is revived. We see the deen is being transferred into the generations to come. And the houses that have no tali, we have seen shaitan entering into those houses. And we start hearing about their personal quarrels among the people outside. We should make intention, we will revive the amal of ta'aleem. And there is tashkil also. Every day, every house should have tashkil. To go out in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it should be every day. There is another tashkil along with it. Just like the life of the Ansar, it was their life. We have to make our life just like the life of Ansar. And people of Ansar of Medina, they had some qualities. 
muhajirin ko thikana diya they had given shelter to the people who had migrated aane walon ko thehraya and the people who came and migrated they made them stay with them isko allah subhanahu wa taala ne quran mein bayan farmaya allah subhanahu wa taala has mentioned this in quran e kareem aur aao wa nasaru ke zariye se bayan kiya and he has used these words aur fir is amal ko iman ke haq ke ada karne ke sath kaha and then allah subhanahu wa taala is showing that this is just like fulfilling the right of iman ki jo logo ko aane wali jamaaton ko apne gharon mein thikana dete hain who so ever gives shelter to the jamaat that come out in the path of allah subhanahu wa taala wo iman ke haq ko ada karne wale hain these people are the ones who are fulfilling the right of deen and iman सारे मदीना की सिफत थी ये दिस वाज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द अंसार ऑफ मदीना कि हर घर आने वाली जमातों के लिए खुला था एवरी हाउस वाज ओपन फॉर द जमात्स दैट वर कमिंग हजरत जी दामत बरकातु फरमाते हैं और हजरत जी दामत बरकातु में ही सेज कि मेरा ये दिल चाहता है सेज माय हार्ट डिजायर्स कि हर मुसलमान के घर का दरवाजा जमातों के लिए खुले दैट एवरी हाउस द डोर ऑफ एवरी मुस्लिम हाउस should be open for the jamaats aur hamara isse maqsad nahi hai ki jamaat yahan pe thehre and our purpose is not that the jamaat should stay here forever hamara is ghar mein thehrane se maqsad ye hai ki is ghar mein 24 ghante ke aamal e aabad aamal e daawat aur aamal e ibadat zinda ho jaye our purpose to stay in that house is that in this house the amal of daawat and amal of ibadat should be revived for 24 hours of the day jab hum jamaaton ko apne gharon mein thehrayenge when we will make jamaat stay in our houses aur nusrat karenge and we will give them nusrat nusrat khilane pilane ko nahi kaha jata nusrat is not only feeding people food khilana pilana to to ikram hai to feed people this is called ikram nusrat ke lafzi maana to hai pyaas ko bujha dena and the, the literal meaning of the word nusrat is to quench the thirst of a person nusrat se ansar banaye from nusrat the word comes to ansar ansar ne jaisa saath diya just like the people who ansar they gave and they supported waisa saath de so we should support in the same manner jab jamaat gharon mein aake thehregi when jamaat will come and stay with us hum unki nusrat karenge we will give them nusrat ye jamaate aalam mein phirengi that these jamaats will go throughout the universe aur us mulk mein hum nahi ja sake and that country a certain country we were not able to go hamare thikane dene se aur nusrat se ye jamaat aage badhi but because we provided our houses to these jamaats they work and because of the skills these jamaats have gone to that country aur duniya ke jis mulk mein kaam ki usme hamara hissa ho jaye so no matter which country in the world they worked in our house and us we have a share in that karoge will we do that isi tarike se jaise hamare jod hote hain so the just like we are getting this jords like we are having now aise masturat ke jod honge in the same fashion there is jords for the ladies also aur 6 mahine mein honge and it's every 6 months that it, they abhi, take place abhi purano ke jod mein hazrat ji ne farmaya in this uh, old worker's jord hazrat ji has said ki jab masturat ka jod hoga whenever there is jord for the masturat to usme mehram ke sath masturat aayengi so there will be mehram and there will be masturat ताकि एक जगह जमा होंगे पीपल विल गेट टुगेदर इन अ प्लेस सुरात जमा होंगी सुरात विल गेट टुगेदर एज़ वेल पूरी कोशिश ये इसमें हो कि एक छत के नीचे हो एंड इट शुड बी यू सी मेड फुल एफर्ट दैट दिस इज अंडर वन रूफ इसकी कोशिश करें वी मस्ट ट्राई फॉर दिस पर मशवरा करें वी शुड मेक मशवरा फॉर दिस सुरेन से खैर वजूद में आती है एंड वी डू मशवरा देयर विल बी गुड दैट विल कम आउट ऑफ इट खूब सोचे वी मस्ट थिंक एंड पॉन्डर ऐसे मकानात मिलेंगे इसी जगह मिलेगी वी विल फाइंड सच हाउसेस सच बिग हाउसेस दैट कैन अकोमोडेट बोथ मेन एंड वुमेन अंडर वन रूफ जमीन और आसमान के बनाने वाले अल्लाह हैं Creator of earth and sky is Allah. सारे इंसानों की जरूरतों के पूरा करने वाले अल्लाह हैं. The fulfiller of all the needs of all humanity is Allah. तो ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है? So how could it be possible? कि हमारी दीनी कोई जरूरत हो? That we have a need of our deen. और अल्लाह सुबहन उताला हमारे लिए इंतजाम न करके. And Allah सुबहन उताला would not arrange this need for us. दीनी जरूरत के लिए सहाबा ने मशवरा किया. For the sake of the necessity of deen, सहाबा ने भी मशवरा. कोई बात तय नहीं हुई. 
Nothing was decided. Sab chale gaye. Everybody left. Sab gauro fikr kar rahe. Everybody is still pondering Sab though. Dobara jama honge. That they will come back together. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ne gauro fikr pe azan de di. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because of their fikr and their worry and concern bless the nation the ummah with azan. Hum gauro fikr karenge. So we will look and we will make fikr. Mashwara karenge. We will make mashwara. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala iti jagah deenge ki ek hi chhat ke niche chhe. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will give us places that we will be able to do a jor for ladies for every six months. The thing that he wanted to say was this. Hazrat Ji, Damat Barakat, you have said. Hazrat Ji, Damat Barakat, you have said. When every jor will be six months, whenever there will be six months jor, and masturat will be joined, and ladies will be getting together, so they will be taught. And they will do talim first. So, jaha mard jama honge. And where the men are staying, wo bhi etimam ke saath aada ghanta pehle talim kare. They also punctually for half an hour they will do talim also. Aur isko chhe mahi jod ka ek hissa mane. And this will be part of the six monthly jor. Isli aaya hua majma. This why the majma that is come here today. Ye niyat kare. We should make this intention. Ki apne gharon ko kholenge. Then we will open our houses to jamaat. Jamaaton ko thehraenge. We will make jamaat stay in our houses. Masjid ke mashwara se. With the mashwara of the masjid. Aur ye niyat kare. And we will make intention. Ki jaise sahabiyat ne din ki mehnat ki hai. Just like sahabiyat made the effort for din. Hum bhi apne gharwano ko din ki mehnat ke liye lagayenge. We will also So make our household do the effort of thee. और ये नियत करे and we make intention इस तरह सहाबा और सहाबियत अल्लाह के रास्ते में निकले just like सहाबा and सहाबियत they went in the path of Allah सुबहान वल्लाह और अपने जान और माल को अल्लाह के दीन पर लगाया and they they spend their wealth and their life in the path of Allah हम भी अपनी मस्तूरात के साथ अल्लाह के रास्ते में निकलेंगे we will also go out in the path of Allah with our ladies. और इस कुर्बानी को जिंदा करेंगे की तश्ल तो शहादत पर होती थी The tashkil of Sahabiyat was not like we are making tashkil, but it was the end of it was martyrdom. Allah ke Rasool Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam khwab dekh rahe hain. Rasool Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is having a dream. Ghar me se khwab dekhte hue uthe. And he he woke up after seeing this dream. Muskurai. He was smiling. Umme Haram bi te Milhan Rasool Allah na maujood thi. Umme Haram Rasool Allah na was there. Kine lagi Allah ke Rasool aap achana uthe aur muskurai. Then I saw you. getting up and you're smiling kinne lage khwab dekha hu i saw a dream he said on his left aur khwab mein ek jamaat ko dekha hu samundar pe allah ke raste mein and i saw a jamaat that is going on and they are on the sea allah ke raste ke nikalne ki aisi chahat thi ke kinne lagi dua kar de ki main qubool ho jaau aur allah ke raste mein jaau aur us jamaat mein shareek ho jaau such a desire was in the ladies also at that time then right away she said oh prophet of allah make dua that i should all be uh, I should also be accepted, and that I should also be part of that jamaat. Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki dobara aakh lagi. Then Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he slept again. Ye thodi der baad muskurate hue. And then he woke up again with a smile. Farmane lagi Allah ke Rasool ab kya mamla hua? So then she said, Oh Prophet of Allah, now what happened? Kena lagi Allah ke Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne farmaya, maine fir khab de. He said, I just saw another dream. I saw another jamaat. They were also in a boat and going through a sea. They were going into the path of Allah. Allah's Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 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 You will not be the second jamaat. Hey, Muhammad, dosto, ye shahadat ki tashkil thi. So this was the tashkil and the news that was given to her of martyrdom. Ki pehli jamaat mein jaogi. That you will go in that first jamaat. Samundar ke raste mein ikhtiyar karogi. You will adopt the path of the sea. Aur aage badhogi. And you'll go forward. Aur Allah ke raste mein qubool ho jaogi. And you will be accepted in the path of Allah. Waapati nahi hogi. You will not come back. Aur Allah ke raste mein gayi. And this, she did go in the path of Allah. Aur shaheed bhi ho gayi. And she got martyred. मेरे मोहतरम दोस्तों अल्लाह के रसूल सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के मुबारक जमाने में सहाबियात के खुरूज की तश्ल शहादत पर होती थी द टाइम ऑफ रसूल अल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम द तश्ल ऑफ सहाबियात वाज एंड एट द यूज्ड टू एंड विद मार्टिर्डम हमारी तो मुख्तसर तश्ल है हम तश्ल इज वेरी स्मॉल वेरी लिटिल ये गए ही वी गो 
अगस्त में गए इन अगस्त सितंबर में वापस इन सितंबर वी आर बैक एक महीना दस दिन वन मंथ टेन डेज मस्तूरात के साथ चिल्ला Again, chill out with Masturat. Masturat ke saath do mahina. Masturat, we go two months with them. In September me gaye. Then we go in September. October me wapas. We are back in October. Aye, sahi hai na? Isn't that so? Bhai, iski to nahi yad kar lo. Bhai, make this intention at least. Only cut out ke is shahidon me naam aaye ga. So let's get a little pinky and get counted among the martyrs. Pata ho kono kono tayar hai Masturat. So who is ready to go in Masturat? The path of Allah. इरादे को पूरा फरमा दे निकलना आसान फरमा दे मुंतकिल फरमा दे मेहनत के जरिए से पूरे आलम में दीन जिंदा फरमाएर समुंदर पर एक बात याद आ गई Just remember something talking about the sea. Hazrat Nizamuddin Banglewali Masjid mein hamari jamaat the hui. There the jamaat was decided in uh, Banglewali Masjid ki America jana hai. Then they have to go to America. Hazrat ne ek ajeeb baat farmayi. So Hazrat said something very strange. Ye samundar par baat yaad aa gayi. This you know connected with the sea. Ye farmane lage ki aap log ko jana hai. Said we have to go. Ke khushki mile zameen mile तो जमीन के रास्ते को अख्तियार करके चले जाए इफ यू फाइंड लैंड देन अडॉप्ट एंड वॉक ऑन लैंड और चलते चलते अगर पानी मिल जाए एंड व्हाइल यू आर वॉकिंग द लैंड एंड्स एंड यू फाइंड वाटर तो पानी के रास्ते को अख्तियार कर ले देन अडॉप्ट द पाथवे टू द वाटर मगर चले ही जाना बट यू शुड कीप कंटिन्यू गोइंग अब हम आने की तैयारी करें एंड इफ यू वांट अ तो आने का कोई रास्ता ना मिले एंड इफ यू आर कमिंग बैक एंड यू डोंट फाइंड अ वे टू कम बैक और इधर हजरत का हुक्म एंड एंड यू नो हजरत जी सेइंग दैट यू गॉट टू गो एंड दे आर नॉट फाइंडिंग एनी वे आउट टू कम कि किसी भी हाल में जाना है बट ही हैड सेड यू हैव टू गो इन व्हिच एवर वे यहां का एक कानून एंड देयर आर सो मेनी लॉज एंड कंडीशंस हियर क्वारंटाइन होकर आना है एंड वी हैव टू गेट गो थ्रू क्वारंटाइन बिफोर कमिंग हियर सुबह और शाम इसी मशोरे में गुजरती थी किस तरह वहां पहुंचना है एवरी डे दे यूज्ड टू मेक मशोर फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू इवनिंग How they have to read this America? आपके चार वीक्स वीक्स के जोड़ के लिए तीन वीक्स तो सफर में गुजर गए. For the sake of these four weeks that they are here in USA, three weeks were in Mashwara in the path of Allah already. इंडिया से निकल के यहाँ पहुँचते पहुँचते तीन हफ्ते लग गए. Just as we arrived, when the time we left India and arrived is three weeks already. नियत और इरादा कर लें. We should all make intention. कि अब तो अपने आप को दीन की मेहनत पर लगाना है. We need to put ourselves and our lives in the path of Allah, for the path of Allah. अपने घरवालों को भी दीन की मेहनत पर लगाना है. And we need our household folks to do and join us in doing so. हमारी कोई छोटी सी कुर्बानी पर अल्लाह को प्यार आ जाएगा तो अल्लाह की रहमत उतर जाएगी. If Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala likes a little sacrifice of ours. And then you see the rahmat of Allah will descend. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala apne wade ko pura kar de. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will fulfill His promise. Aur har ghar mein din ko pahuncha de. And Allah will revive din in every single house. Niyat karte na inshaAllah. Do we make intention? Namazon ki tayari mein apne aap ko lagaye. We should engage ourselves in preparation of salawat. Aur maghrib aur sunnaton se fari hone ke baad isi tarike se jaise baithe hain baithe. And after maghrib we make salat and in the sunnat that we should sit just like we are sitting right now. Jam kar baithe. And you should, we should be steadfast in our sitting. आप हजरत बड़ी कुर्बानियों से यहाँ पहुँचे हो. You have made lot of sacrifices to come here. इससे पूछते हैं घंटों के सफर के बाद यहाँ पहुँचे. Whoever we ask, he has travelled for hours together. अपनी छुट्टी को कुर्बान किया है. You have sacrificed your holiday. और कितना अपने आप को थकाया है. And you how much tired you have you got in coming here. ये उसका नतीजा लेने का वक्त है. Now is the time to. You know, get the fruit of our effort. अब अपने आप को किसी और चीज़ में मत लगाओ. We shouldn't give any ourselves in anything else other than this. इबादत का वक्त हो गया है. It's time for ibadat. इबादत में लगाओ. We should engage ourselves in ibadat. और इबादत के फौरन बाद अपने आप को दावत के अमल में लगाओ. Right after ibadat, there is time for dawat. We engage ourselves in the amal of dawat. ऐसे ही करेंगे ना इन्शाअल्लाह. We do like this. Allah मल्की तोफिक अता. Allah give us tawfiq.